Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below. North Korea has been at the center of global politics for some time now, having become more and more militarized since it split from the South after the Allied victory in 1945. But what if this split never happened? Let's explore. So get ready, it's time to answer the question, what if North Korea didn't exist? Before explaining what would have happened without the divide, I should briefly discuss what caused the split in the first place. Since essentially all of Korea was ruled by Imperial Japan up until the end of the war, it was split along the 38th parallel, with the US taking control of the South while the USSR took the North. The huge difference in political beliefs between America and the Soviet Union caused a great rift between the two parts of the country, leading to Cold War hostilities and the Korean War. However, in this video I'll be following an alternate history where Korea was never divided on the 38th parallel, with America gaining full temporary control and thus greatly limiting the influence of communism. This has a number of implications on the world at large in the following decades. In the near future, Korea would not be used as a pawn in the fight between the US and the Soviet Union, and wouldn't have been ravaged by the Korean War. This would obviously be very beneficial to both the citizens of Korea and the United States, since it was a war that many Americans opposed. More recently, the tension between North Korea and well, most other countries would be removed without the split. North Korea wouldn't be building nukes and threatening to use them on neighboring countries. This would, of course, be excellent, allowing for much healthier engagement between the East and the West. Nuclear weapons tend to make people a bit uncomfortable. However, there's a good chance that if there wasn't this terrible dictatorship to hold up as the boogeyman, the West would simply have focused on a different country full of its own atrocities. For example, the focus might instead have been on Sudan and Omar al-Bashir's alleged war crimes in Darfur. It's useful for a government to have a terrible example to point to as it helps the good guys look better and helps to defend their actions in the eyes of the citizens. Not to mention that the Sudan situation is pretty crazy and really should be getting more attention. If the two Koreas had remained united, life in the northern part of Korea would be far better. In previous decades, farmers were forced to give huge portions of their crops to the capital, leaving many unable to provide for themselves, while the government's refusal to trade with other countries caused still more famine. Without the terrible economic mismanagement of the North Korean government, farmers would be able to sustain themselves much better and trade could fill in any gaps that might be lacking. The lack of trade with North Korea is currently hurting them greatly. Many reports indicate that North Korea is sitting on trillions of dollars worth of mineral resources, with estimates going as high as $10 trillion. They're currently severely hamstrung, with numerous trade embargoes limiting their trading partners. However, if the Koreas never split and had better relations with other countries, there's a good chance that these minerals would be a much needed economic boost. And now we return to our question, what if North Korea didn't exist? Well, the world would be quite different. The most significant differences would of course be found in the northern part of Korea, which would see a great deal more economic prosperity in the decades after the Second World War. Tensions in the area would be much relieved, and the Korean War likely would not have occurred. While the North Korean boogeyman wouldn't be around to scare people, the West would likely just pay more attention to other atrocities in the world. Sadly, there is no shortage to choose from. And finally, before you say it, this video wouldn't exist. Gosh, I'm clever. Thank you for watching Life's Biggest Questions. I hope this was interesting and informative, and maybe even inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below. While you're down there, let me know what country you would most like to erase forever. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Life's Biggest Questions, wishing you the best of luck on your quest for answers.